Hello and welcome to For His Glory Lifestyle YouTube channel. This is the introduction video that I've noticed all YouTube channels have. So I thought it would be best to do this introduction to this channel today, January 7th, 2022. And for those who know me well enough, you know what today is. This channel was birthed out from a couple of months ago, actually, the Holy Spirit put up my heart to start a channel. I had watched a number of videos with individuals who call themselves Christians, and yes, I just said call themselves Christians, attempting to share the gospel, the gospel that's not in the Bible, um, with individuals so these individuals can become Christians. And the more I saw videos like this, before you get started, before you think this is going to be a bashing Christians or bas bashing so-called Christians channel, it is not. This channel will be me along with other individuals, guests who want to give, why can't I talk? Because I'm not editing this video. The reason why I'm stumbling is because I am a stickler for details. So thank you, Lord, for delivering me from being a perfectionist, right? Okay, so this video will have individuals who love the Lord and individuals who are still trying to find out who God is so they can give their life to Jesus Christ. There will be individuals that I have been running this race with the Lord with for close to 20 years who have amazing testimonies. Um, we either met in a country overseas or here in the United States and them sharing how they gave their life or how they surrendered to Jesus Christ because you actually, um, the Bible says that you are darkness. So you don't really have a life to give to the Lord. You have life as it relates to what God calls life once you receive Jesus Christ and are saved, born again, and walking in obedience to him and him alone. Uh, we will be reading scripture. We will reading the entire scripture, for example, and everyone knows, you know, John three sixteen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right? But have you read the rest of that? I'm going to leave you to read John 3, 16, 17, and 18. And when you do, post what you read in John 16, 17, 18, in the chat box and also subscribe after you post it and tell me what did you find out after you read John 3 16 the complete context God so loved the world right that whoever believes in him shall not be condemned but who is condemned now who is condemned now those who are not in Christ and so the purpose of this video is to share the goodness of God number one and share his scripture that is the goodness of God as he tells us who he is, how he is, and who he desires his creation, those who are made in his image to be, which are individuals who he can look and see Jesus Christ himself, who is fully God in us via the Holy Spirit. We will talk about things associated with political, economic, social, technological, um, environment, legal, and environmental environment. And for those who are my business people, you know that spelled out pestle, right? Which is a strategic um, analysis way of looking at whether or not particular companies should go into a particular um, country, state, city, locale. So yes, for those who don't know me, you can tell as of now, I have um, a business background and in business since I was 14 years old, started my first business at 16, started working on Wall Street at 18 and started walking with the Lord at January, excuse me, not January, January now, July 16, 2004. Long testimony short, I was a heathen, a very economically stable heathen with a private driver, an apartment in Upper Manhattan. Um, I didn't do my own laundry for a good three or four years because it was someone I paid someone to do it. Loving life or the life that the world looks at and envies. Um, had a wonderful boyfriend. Everybody who's heard the testimony, I'm saying he was fine. 
but I was going straight to hell if I was to die. But thank you, Lord, for prayers from my grandmother and other people that I know. I encountered Jesus Christ, not in the church. Sorry, some of you who might have to be delivered from a religious spirit. This, this channel might make you itch a bit. But I didn't grow up in church. All the people that I know who was in church was in the club with me. And 6 o'clock in the morning, New York City, everybody knows most clubs close at 6 in the morning. People would get dressed, um, get dressed Friday night, go to the club, 6 o'clock in the morning, Sunday, go home, change, and go to church. I was told that if I didn't go to church with them, the same people that I was partying with, for those from the Boogie Down Bronx, because that's where I grew up as well, the Boogie Down Bronx, um, we were wine, 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 yeah, on somebody's husband or boyfriend or just someone we didn't know, and these same individuals would go home, shower, and they go to church. So I was told that if I didn't go to church with them, I would go to hell. And my response was, uh, didn't you just sleep with somebody's husband in the bathroom? Or didn't you just sleep with two girls in the bathroom? Yes, this is what the world, what was going on in the world and is still going on in the world. But these same individuals kept saying that they were Christians, that they loved God, but their lifestyle did not look like what scripture says your lifestyle should look like if you proclaim that Jesus Christ is your Lord. So this channel, we will be not just discussing scripture, discussing the contents of the unadulterated, offensive to some, some word of God. We will be reading the scriptures. We will be discussing the context of the scriptures within the context of the scriptures. Yes, there's a whole lot of different denominations out there. Um, and I didn't even know there were so many different denominations until I came into uh, the church. And we know that there is the local church where scripture says that there's wheat and tares will grow together and that God will separate the wheat from the tares, right? He will send angels to do the separation of the wheat and the tare. But we also have the universal church, which is truly the body of Christ, right? When you are born again, you are now in the body of Christ, meaning individuals who also are born again and in Christ and God in Christ and Holy Spirit in you. For those who know John 14, 15, 16 and 17, you know what I'm talking about. For those who have yet to read John 14 through 17, including 18, you should read it so you can really understand what it means to be in Christ, to love him, to live for him, to not have any issues that unfortunately I've seen in the West. Obviously, this happens, what I've encountered in Africa and Asia as well. But this westernized idea of being able to say you're a Christian, but yet doubt God. The scripture says he's not pleased if you do not believe him. It says in order to please him, you must come to him believing. So we're going to be reading scripture. This is not going to be a channel where I share what I think about scripture or what somebody else thinks about it. We're going to read the black letters and the red letters on the white pages of the Holy Bible. What else? When I mentioned the West, um, I've been, I had been based in Asia for a little over 10 years, actually in Korea. And during those 10, 11 years, I had traveled throughout different parts of Asia in Africa, lo siento, haven't been to South America yet, but oh, I hope one day God does send me there. But I've been with a group of individuals who love the Lord and who have, some have given their life to preach and teach and share this gospel with a world of individuals who are just lost in evil right? Because people say, oh, they just need the Lord and, you know, they're a good person. No, the scriptures are clear. You're either child of God or child of the devil. And we'll be reading those scriptures as well. So if you're watching this YouTube channel or just happen to stumble upon it, thank you for your time. But my prayer every day is, God, let me meet people who need you. Bring them to me or take me to them. And he has taken me all around the world in order to share that he is good and also share that if you don't submit your life to Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell for eternity. 
and he does not desire for you to go to hell for eternity because if he did, then he wouldn't have given his son to the world to die for the world, not just for people in church, not just for those who proclaim Christianity as their faith, but die for the world. The scriptures also say, notice I keep saying the scriptures. As we go forth with this channel, I will put scriptures on the bottom of the um, screen, but one of the things you need to do is have your Bible. May it be a paper Bible or leather or faux leather or on your phone so you can read the scriptures for yourself because a lot of times people are believing things that people say without reading the scriptures on their own. So please make sure that you get your Bible and also use the pause button because once I share scripture, press pause and then go and make sure that number one, I am stating, quoting, reading the scripture correctly because I've also heard ministers who have large churches read scripture and change the words as change the words of what they're reading and this is not I'm not saying that they read a different translation I am saying that I have heard and seen with their own mouths read scripture where they have Judas the one who portrayed betrayed Jesus Christ right they have him in heaven with Jesus can you show me the scripture that is antithetical to what Jesus said himself? He said he has lost none except the one destined per for perdition. Now, this is where you press pause. Go to your Bible and read the scripture about what Jesus said happened to Judas. Also, I've heard other ministers just, just read scripture that makes people who, again, who are not saved but believe they are comfortable thinking that it's okay to live defeated, broke, busted, disgusted, have depression, suicidal thoughts, which is all demonic, by the way. But they, they have these people believing that, oh, it's just, a, you know, it's just a dry season. My question is, how do you have a dry season where the one who says he is the water of life that springs up in you, he's in you and he's the water of life. So how do you have dry seasons? Can someone put in the, the comment box what that means to have a dry season? You have a dry season because you have been taught to believe that you can have a dry season desert season because of the Israelites being in the desert for 40 years. But think about it. They were in the desert for 40 years because they were in straight rebellion against the one who pulled them out of Egypt. Guys, please. So again, during this, um, the, these videos, I'll be sharing some of these thoughts. We're going to read the script, going to read the scriptures. I would love to have you comment on what is being shared. There will be videos that are live. Some will be um, recorded like this one because I'm in the great country, right? The great state of Texas. Um, I'll be traveling a lot. I'll also put the links in the comment area of the Airbnb or the hotel that I'm staying in so that you all, if you like the location or the, the, um, the setup, because this, this Airbnb has, has just been, it's beautiful. The host is amazing and they love Jesus as well, which is, that's just, again, anyone who loves Jesus, you're all right with me. Anyone who doesn't love Jesus, you are double all right with me. Because one of the things I tell people all the time, if you are born again and God did not take you out this world, once you died and was born again, he has you here for a purpose and that is for his glory not just to live a lifestyle for his glory for yourself but live a lifestyle representing him in the earth realm for individuals who need to know that they have a father they have a god who created them in his image that he desires for them to come to again thank you for your time this is i'm, I'm feeling the the presence of the lord i am I'm excited. I hope you all are excited as well. Thank you all for your comments. 
please no cursing or profanity um i have an anointing to blockity block block i got that from some of the mentors because for me i'm like oh why are you blocking people who are cursing you it is in it for the glory of the lord they're on your channel yeah they 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 scooped me on that we're not dealing with all of that so let me close out. Father, first and foremost, I thank you for everyone who has watched this video for the past 15 minutes. I thank you for their life. I thank you that you have made up the molecular air, molecular molecules in the air to give them breath in their body so they can praise you even as they're watching this video. Thank you, Jesus, that you saw fit for them to have another day to either find you, understand who you are, receive you, or go another day being used by you, right? Because even God used Judas in order to exalt Jesus and crucify Jesus. He used the Romans and the Jews and the Pharisees and the Sadducees for his purpose. So may you be used for God's good good purposes that benefit you and those you come in contact with for his glory. So when you see him, he doesn't tell you to go to hell. Can you believe it? When you die, if you are not in Christ, Jesus Christ, when you go to that judgment seat, Jesus is going to tell you to go to hell if you're not his. A pastor's wife once said that. And I'm like, whoa, that, that's true. So, Father, may everyone have a revelation of who you are so they can receive the real Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, for my religious folks who keep itching every time I say Jesus. But every knee will bow at the name of Jesus, the only name exalted high. And I cancel every assignment of the enemy to come in to kill or attempt to come in to kill, steal, and destroy every single thing and everyone associated with proclaiming God's goodness throughout this world so that then the end will come when his word is proclaimed throughout the nations. Blessings to you all. So love you all for your time because right in the beginning, the first thing God gave us is time. So thank you for your time, your prayers for those who are praying for this channel and I will see you again soon. Bye.